Hello, my name is Jose. I'm starting off this project, I guess. Background information on the Circus World Museum Library. Um, it was established in 1954, but the public wasn't able to use it until 1959. It's a nonprofit. Um, the collect everything in the museum, in the library, is owned by the state of Wisconsin, but all the day-to-day -day operations are private funding. A lot of the materials they have, they had to write grants for, and that's how they got a lot of the materials they used to put all the information online. Uh, no, no. Right, um, it serves as a tourist site for Baraboo, and it helps bring in more people into the city. Um, it's also an educational experience because if you go there, if you want to learn anything about any American circus, if they have information on it, you can find it. They have diaries of uh, performers. They have a bunch of stuff that you just wouldn't get the same experience from just Googling it. Um, the site, first, the online catalog was started in 2011, had 6,000 views. 2012, it jumped up to 12,000. In 2013, up to 14,000. So you can see that a lot of people are using this tool. Um, out of all those numbers, 85 of those, 85% is uh, remote users, users, which mean they use a computer, they can't actually visit the site. And out of that 85%, 70% are out of the state and 15% are out of the country. So not just the city of Baraboo uses this, the whole world can use this tool to find anything. So if you're in Russia and you want to learn about a circus, you can go online and find it. The goals of our project, well, our, our task was to put together a tutorial, and the goals we came up with were to develop collaboration and web development skills. We learned to appreciate the value of online resources. Um, we came to understand how much of an impact three of us could have, and we now understand the importance of community having easy access to information. So the first step of our project was to investigate it. The first thing we did was meet with our partner and identified their high priority need. And to understand the purpose, we went over there and took a tour and researched background information on it. The second step, we divided the project, which didn't help as we went down to three, so we did all the work anyways. And we set dates for when we would have it done, which I guess this step was not helpful. Third step was action. We did our separate parts, kind of did everything. Combined the parts, finalized it, and gave it to our partner. For the tutorial part, we had to take like snapshots of the website and place them on here, and we just put a description of how to get to different places. These are just a few examples of the 16 slides that were put together for the tutorial. And it's now going to be used for the library catalog. And our last step was to reflect. Obviously, uh, part of our goal, we learned how much of an impact we could have. And the impact of our project was it saves time for the people working at the library. Um, the people using the catalog have a resource to go to before they call in with questions. The project explains the tutorial or the catalog to new users who haven't visited the site, which is a hefty amount of people, and it provides easy access to information. And our lessons learned, we really learned to appreciate reliability. Um, we really uh, took that old saying to the next level. Uh, if you want a job done well or at all, do it yourself. We learned the usefulness of online resources. And now uh, we don't have to travel to different places to learn stuff. We have it online. And we 
really learned the importance of communication because our communication was pretty poor overall. So this last week was very hectic in getting all this together.